What's going on everybody? It's your boy, Matt Stingray. Thanks for checking in to the Rock The Watch channel. Guys, today we're gonna do an unboxing of a Vostok Komandersky, reference number 650859. So this is a replacement for a Vostok I got in probably about a month ago. It was the a similar, it was a Komandersky, as similar to this one except it had uh, a yellow dial black bezel i'll roll a picture in of it right here and that watch failed right out the box if you haven't seen that video go check that video out i'll put a link to it down below it just completely failed right out the box i returned it contacted them they were awesome okay um i don't have any criticism about the company that was selling these they they responded immediately we worked it all out they got another watch in the mail. It, it typically takes three weeks to a month for them to get here anyway. So I, I knew I was going to be waiting a little bit. But yeah, that, that one failed right out the box. Wouldn't even uh, wind up. So like I said, go check that video out. This is the replacement. They didn't have that same watch in stock. So I opted for a similar one with no date and completely yellow. So it's yellow dial, yellow bezel, um, but, but very similar watch. So let's crack this puppy open and see what we got here. And hopefully we won't have the same experience we had last time. So let's check it out. Oh, wait, before we do that, quick wristwatch check. What am I rocking today? Today I am rocking my Citizen CTO Drive. So let's get into the sucker. They always pack these really well actually lots of bubble wrap stuff like that So guys, yeah, that's how it comes in this little plastic red box. And as you see, they, they packaged it very well. So let's check it out. And there it is. Very cool. Very cool. Again, I like how they add a little touch of where the top falls off. And let's put this over here. Little touch of bubble wrap up there. So super cool. This one is running. Look at that. This one is running. Very cool. This, yeah. So if you guys didn't know, this uh, these watches come with a friction fit. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Did you just see that? Did you just see that? Did you? Oh, my. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. I, I, oh, God, give me strength. Um... <laughs> You can't make this stuff up, guys. If I didn't have a camera rolling, you, you, nobody believe me. You cannot make this stuff up. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. So uh, the previous picture I rolled and you saw that that one had a black bezel and a yellow dial with the date. I kind of wanted the date. It's not that big a deal for me. I actually like this one better with the full yellow. However, I wish they did the full yellow with the date. That would be very cool. Consider doing that, guys. But also consider fixing your bezel a little bit. Maybe that's not why it's as, as tight as the other one. Um, but yeah, these are actually, you know, tanks of watch. I think the, the other one I got was just a lemon. Although, I don't know now with that bezel being able to come right off. My gosh. What's up, guys? So I know this isn't uh, normally how I do this. We're kind of straying away from my normal format in this video but i thought it was important enough because this unboxing video has now turned into another vostok dumpster fire unfortunately i i don't think vostok and i get along i don't know what the deal with it is this is my fourth vostok fourth and every one of them has had issues i i, I don't know i just can't and it's unfortunate because 
I really dig the way they look. I just ordered a mesh bracelet for this, this watch. It should be in tomorrow. I literally unboxed this watch two days ago. And during the unboxing that you saw earlier, you saw earlier in the video up to this point, the, the freaking bezel fell off the sucker. Now, two days later, it is now Tuesday evening. I got this watch Saturday or Sunday. I think it was two. I think it was Sunday it showed up. Maybe it was Saturday. Anyway, three days later, three days, and it's already starting to fall apart. And I'm about to show you guys. And I'm not bashing Voss. Like I actually like the way they look. I don't know if Voss Talk and I, like I said, are just not getting along, but I cannot recommend this watch guys don't i will not buy i know i matt stingray will not buy another vostok and again like i said it's unfortunate because i kind of dig their styling the way they look their supposed ruggedness but but what the deuce let me show you what's wrong with this sucker as if, if, if you'll be able to tell right off the bat look at that second hand would you look at that Look at that second. It's stuck to the inside of the crystal. It has come off. See it there? It was rattling around earlier. And, and now it's stuck. There we go. Look at that. Now it's stuck up there. The watch is still working. It's still keeping time. Now it's down there. The, the, the second hand is rattling all. Look at that. Second hand has come off. And it's rattling all over the place. And I was just wearing this. I didn't even put this through a torture test or not through a torture test by just smacking it on the side. Which, by the way, if you've ever bought a Vostok, in their instructions, they tell you, give it a nice whack on the side to get it started. I didn't even do that with this watch. I didn't need to. You saw earlier in the video that it was running when I opened it out of the box and, and moved it a little bit and the second hand started running. So I didn't have any issue with it. But I get out of the shower this evening and I look at the watch and I'm like, what the heck? And the second hand was not moving. First of all, it was not moving. So I was like, what is going on? It looked like it was in the same place, but it was not moving. So I gave it a tap on the crystal a little bit and boom, that sucker popped right off. Look at it moving in there. Look at it moving in there. So now the crystal, I mean, they didn't even take any resistance. I mean, not the crystal, the bezel didn't even take any resistance to get that off. And now the second hand comes off. So I'll do a follow-up video. I'll probably, I mean, guys, uh, look. If you want my opinion, and I know what opinion, everybody knows what opinions are like. They're like, you know what? And they all stink, okay? My opinion don't mean nothing. Personally, me, I'm not going to buy another one. I'll attempt to fix this one, take the case back off, taste the movement out, put the second hand back in see if it stays, whatever. I'll make a video about that. I'll make a follow-up video about that, probably doing it. Um, maybe I'll do that at a later date. But um, I have assembled a few watches over here that I thought would be a better value for money. Look at that. I mean, and and, uh, and the three days I was wearing it, it would end up all over the place too. It's This is effectively worthless for a timing bezel because it would just I would daily activity would be over there and I'd be moving it back um, but I have assembled four watches over here that are cheaper or within the same price range that are much better value than this guys don't waste your money on these I have seen countless reports now after this happened I started doing a lot more research oh, they die within a couple months they fail this one a couple days no right out the box the bezel comes off and I'm not even guys. I don't even, I'm not even cranking on it. It'll just come, comes off so easily. And now I look at this and there's the second hand floating around inside there. I mean, let me see what time it is. Yeah. It's keeping, it's keeping time. But <laughs> what this, what is that? Like the Chopard crystals down there? Or maybe it's that like the Invicta video you see with the with the little birded winged Invicta logo thing floating around the bottom. What, what is that? So let me just give you a, a couple of suggestions that 
as a better place to spend your hundred dollars. Because for a lot of people, a hundred dollars is a lot of money to spend on a watch, and you want it to last. If you only have a hundred dollars to spend on a watch, do not buy this watch. And I say that with a heavy heart because, like I said, it looks really cool. It looks like a military Russian military. It's supposed to be all tough and like Russian tanks. Well, let me tell you something. I was a tanker when I was in the army when I was younger. And if you ever saw the difference, if you ever got a chance to get on a Russian tank, they're not that great either. Don't believe some hype about they're these, you know, built like a tank, <laughs> built like a Russian tractor. Or they're just, they're very simple and saw another junk. They're junk. You get on an American tank, and then you get on a Russian tank, and you're like, you think you're back in the Stone Age for Pete's sake. So let's check out. Let's just go. So here's now three of these are quartz. And uh, if, you, if you're not into quartz, whatever, did an unboxing of this one. This is the Citizen CTO Drive, 89 bucks. Okay? 89 bucks, you save yourself 10 bucks. Because I think this one was 99 or even plus. 98, 97, I think they're going for on Amazon plus shipping, whatever. So they were a little over hundred dollars, 89 bucks. Very nice quartz watch. will keep excellent time. You don't have to worry about it. Just change the battery. Okay. Citizen. Citizen sells a lot. Keep your eyes open. Citizen sells a lot of great watches for around the hundred dollar price range. Citizen is a brand you can check out. Let's check this one out. Seiko again, another quartz. However, this is solar. This one is a solar watch, okay? Day date, 100 meters of water resistance, 98 bucks. Effectively the same price. And I guarantee you, again, it is solar, not automatic. Guarantee you it'll last longer than that thing. Star King, 50 bucks on Amazon. It is an automatic. Has a see-through case back. Now this one I did a video on where I lost a little confidence in this in this watch and I changed my opinion a bit, not saying it's a it's a crappy watch. What I'm saying is I don't know that I would trust the movement in this to last very long. You know, it might last a couple of years, but you have to weigh the value for 50 bucks, you get a sapphire crystal. This one was double the price. You get a a cheap plastic acrylic crystal. They're both automatics. This one's gets a see-through case back, okay? And it's lasting longer than this one. Half price. Again, I have a little bit of reservations about this one. Go watch that video. I'll put a link to that down below. Half the price. And the last one I have on the table, and guys, there's tons. Go out there and do your research. Tons, okay? Casio Edifice. Look how thin that sucker is. Very thin bracelet, very thin watch. I haven't even measured this one yet. Date complication, again, you'll see it is a quartz. Very cool with the, the teal colors in there. And look at what it says right there. Sapphire, 100 meters water resistance. Guys, Casio. You got 100 bucks for a Casio? I bought this one. Normal price is like $96, $99, somewhere close to 100. About the same price as that sucker. Got it on Amazon, 56 bucks. Did a video on that one. Go check that one out of the of the unboxing of this one, okay? S guys, I'm not trying to tell you, look, and I'm not hating on Vostok. I'm trying to save you guys money, okay? Matter of fact, let me see how, much, how thin this sucker is. Let's just bust these out right quick and measure this sucker. I'm just kind of curious. 866, guys. 866. Now, I know what you're saying. It's a quart, so it's a lot thinner. Well, of course. But this sucker wears super thin. Very cool. But I'm trying to save you money. You want, you want, the reason you buy a timepiece is for one, to, for it to tell the time and keep accurate time. But second, you want it to look good. Well, what good is it if it falls apart, but it looks good? Then it's just a piece of giant man jewelry and it doesn't work. It won't help you out. It's not a tool. So, guys, for me, I'm not recommending Vostok's anymore. I'm done with Vostok's. I, I, I've done the Vostok experiment, four of them, like I said, I, I'm done. So let's get back to the regularly scheduled unboxing of this watch and we'll call it a day. Make that much of a difference because it built like a Russian tank. So 
Let's see if everything works here. Yes, wobbly crown is normal, guys. That is normal. Look at how much it wobbles. Very cool. Very cool. Obviously, it doesn't have a date function, but will it whine? It does whine. And it is running. So that is at least improvement over the last one I had. Although, as you saw, the bezel just came right off. Um, let me see something actually real quick. I have a, right over here, I have a very old Vostok that, as you can see, is running. So at least that runs. But I wonder if the bezel on this one comes off. Uh, yeah. What can I say? Hey, at least they're uniquely Russian, right? So, yeah, so there's that. Uh, guys, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And as always, rock that watch.